Hi, this is Pooja. I'm a dentist and a home decor enthusiast. Welcome to my home. So this is our 50 year old home starting from our entrance foyer. Let's take you to this painting that we all love very much. It's a Pichwai art and we've also gotten it in its most modern forms on these wooden plates done by a very dear friend Nayantara. Moving ahead as we see all the Pichwai, it amalgamates beautifully with this Kalamkari set. And then we have another art form here called Patachitra from Orissa. Moving into our living room now, I can't go without describing this corner. It has all our brass decor items. Interestingly enough, we're from Rivari, which is called the Brass City. So this is all that we've collected 40, 50 years ago. Let's move ahead and see another piece of art that we've collected around about that same time. This is a miniature Kishangari painting from Rajasthan which my parents got about 40 years ago while they were sourcing for this house. And we've kept it, um, we've kept a mindful note of having only hand painted items in our home. So this home is not made over days. It definitely took us decades to curate all of the art. Even this Egyptian mural is hand painted on papyrus. We have another small collection of brass here that we've collected over 10-15 years, especially of this craft that we like, which is called Dhokra. It's probably done in many states, but mostly from Jharkhand and Chhattisgarh. It's a tribal art form. And our most recent acquisition is the Tara and the Buddha figurines, again from a dear friend Khushbu. I want to show you this motif that we have on our sofa set. It was picked out by my mother-in-law because she likes fishes so much. It's hand carved on solid wood. This is about 30 years old now. Even some of the lamps that we have are vintage. Uh, very difficult to find right now in any of the markets. With that, let's come to our dining section. As we move into our dining space, it's, it's a slight contrast from our traditional living room setup. We have a, a mother of pearl console separating the two areas and the same mother of pearl is carried into our dining chairs. This was very lovingly picked out by our family again about 25 years ago and uh, to keep mother of pearl in furniture, it seems like it was auspicious, it surely has been for us. They have a little sea theme going on into the dining table where you can see these shells that are hand glass stained inside. Of course, we do use a lazy Susan because a table has to serve food more than decor and uh, this is how we normally celebrate any festival occasion since we're uh, fast approaching the festive season this is where all the fun will be as for the art in the dining area we have more relaxed more modern contemporary art on our walls again very lovingly gifted to us by our family we have some modern art here and two japanese art pieces there gifted to us by very close family members Moving from our dining area into the real heart of the home, which is this living space. It's got this huge sideboard which houses our cups and mugs, a little extra crockery. Mugs are something that I can't get enough of and we've collected them lovingly over the years. Right here is our collection of Madhubani art. I hail from Bihar and I can't leave my heritage behind. As we move into our master bedroom, I must show you this bench, which is the most used piece of furniture in our house. We normally sit here after a long day of work, have a cup of chai, listen to some music, light a candle and unwind. Let's go in now. As we enter this media room, this is where we all watch a movie, sometimes catch binge watch shows and then we move into our master bedroom. So you will find my love for Indian textiles here. There's loads of hand block printed, indigo and Jaipur elements.
this is our guest bedroom we've kept it very minimal and try to make it as bright as possible to balance the the overload of wooden work that's been done in this room thank you for watching this video for more such content subscribe to lbb's homely newsletter